equivalent fractions and number line now we will try to see how to arrange your numbers from least to greatest and how to convert them in with common denominator so the question here is write equivalent fractions with denominator of 12 and then arrange them on a number line okay so number line is something like this which extends all the way right so what we will do here is we know our numbers are from their positive numbers, right? So since we are talking about fractions, most of them are less than 1, right? At times, I may give you some numbers which are greater than 1, but most of them will be less than 1. We'll try to put on this number line, right? Now let's first do the first part of this question, which is write equivalent fractions with denominator of 12. Now, what did I say? Denominator of 12, right? Why? Why denominator of 12? Let's look into those fractions. 2 over 3, 1 over 2, 3 over 4, 7 over 12, 7 over 6, 1 over 6. You will see that all of them are factors of 12, right? 12 is a multiple of all these numbers. So, you can easily have 12 as a common denominator of all these fractions. That is a way to look into it, correct? So we can write them as fractions with denominator of 12. Once we have same denominator, it's easy for us to compare the numbers or even put them on a number line. Do you get the point? So let's make them with denominator 12. So let's have equivalent fractions here. So we'll write down equivalent fractions with denominator of 12. Okay? So how can you make denominator 12 here? In that case, you have to multiply both of them by 4. Correct? How to make 12 here? You have to multiply both by 6. 6 times 2 is 12. In this case, it should be multiplied by 3, right? 3 times 4 is 12. This is 12 itself. You don't have to change it. Here, 6 times 2 is 12. So, you have to multiply both by 12. And same here, both by 12. Correct? So, let's do this and write down equivalent fractions with denominator 12. 4 times 2 is 8. We get 8 over 12. Right? 6 times 1 is 6. 6 over 12. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12, so we get 9 over 12. 7 over 12 is already with denominator of 12. 2 times 7 is 14, 2 times 6 is 12, 2 times 1 is 2, and 2 times 6 is 12. So we got all these equivalent fractions to what we were given. Now it is easy to make them or to place them on a number line. How to place these numbers on a number line? You see, most of them are with denominator 12. That means it is 8 out of 12, 6 out of 12, 9 out of 12, 7 out of 12, something like that. Do you see that? So what we can do is, we can start from 0 and say every digit equally spaced as 1 twelfth. So this is 1 out of 12, 2 out of 12, 3 out of 12, 4, 5, 6, 6 out of 12. Then we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 out of 12. 12 out of 12 means what for us? Can you tell me? 12 out of 12 is one whole. Do you see that? 6 out of 12 is like half. Do you see that? So, and this is the number 0. Now, where will 8 out of 12 go? 8 out of 12 will be after 6, right? 7, 8. So this will go here. 8 out of 12. So that number is 8 out of 12 for us. So we are done with this one. Now let's look into the next one. 6 out of 12 is as good as half, right? It's already written for us here. That's correct. Now let's look into the next one, which is 9 out of 12. 9 out of 12, 6, 7, 8, 9. So this one is 9 out of 12, okay? So there it goes, 9 out of 12. So we'll place it here. 
How about 7 out of 12? 7 out of 12 will be placed here. So we'll call this 7 out of 12. Right? 14 out of 12. This is 12 out of 12. So we have to go further away. 13 and 14. So that becomes 14 out of 12. As you can see, it is improper fraction. It is more than 1. Do you see that? 14 out of 12. Numerator is greater than denominator in this case. Now, 2 out of 12 is the least number, which is here, 2 out of 12. Now you know all this. You have arranged them in number line. So you know least is what? Least is 2 out of 12. So out of all these, least is 1 out of 6. And which is the greatest number in your list? Greatest number is 7 out of 12, which is 14 out of 12. Correct? Yes, it is. So you have learned in this video how to write numbers with same denominator. In fact, that was our least common multiple for all the numbers in the denominator. Now exercise for you is to write these numbers from least to greatest. Okay. So your question now here is to arrange them from least to greatest. Okay. I have already done the first half, that is arranging them with common denominator. And also I have placed them on a number line that gives you an idea where which number is. Numbers on the left are lower than the numbers on the right. So 9 out of 12 is greater than all these numbers and it is less than these two. Do you get the point? Now go through the video once again and then write down all these fractions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 of them in an order from least to greatest. Thank you.